Alright, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create a thunder shaft and a hex shaft uh, as Vex Robotics stock. It will end up the final product looking like this, which is a hex shaft with a hole in it for a thunder shaft, or a completely solid piece of stock for a regular hex shaft. So first thing we're going to do, make a new design, and create a sketch. I'm going to use the XY plane so that the extrusion goes along the Z axis. So the first thing we have to do to make a hex shaft is to make a hexagon. So we are going to go to the Create tab and go to Polygon. I'm going to use a circumscribed polygon tool, which creates a polygon using the center point, and then you go out to the midpoint of one edge. We're going to start with the origin and move up. So since this stock will be half inch stock, we need to make this a quarter inch from the center point to the midpoint of one edge. So we're going to type in point to five inches and create a hexagon. The default settings in circumscribed polygon are six sides, so I didn't need to change any of that. I could just make a hexagon right off the bat. So before we can extrude this, we have to round the edges because currently these edges are all too pointy for what the machine production would be if you were to buy VEX produced stock. The nice thing though is that in the VEX drawings, the rounded edges are all rounded to the diameter of a circle that is 0.541 inches in diameter. So we're going to draw a circle directly on top. We don't need to do a construction circle or anything because we're going to easily create this hexagon with rounded edges by just trimming off the excess. So we want to trim off these corners in all the places that there are corners and trim off the external circle edges. And so as you go around the hexagon, if you accidentally delete a side and the entire hexagon becomes white, just hit escape to hop out of the trim tool and control Z to undo. Um, but if not, just go around, getting rid of all of these extra edges that we do not need. And you will have the hex shaft shape. So we're going to finish this sketch and go home so we can see how it looks like on the plane and extrude this shape into hex stock. So the first um, distance we're going to make is 18 inches because that's basic stock you can buy. And now we <laughs> go down to the other end, we will have a just normal piece of hex stock. So if you only need to make that, you can end the video here. Uh, the last little tip I'll give you for hex shaft is you can use the press pull function if you'd like to change the dimensions or make a bunch of different sets of stock really quickly. You can use this, select a face, and offset this stock by however many inches you'd like to create a new piece of stock for any of your CAD files and CAD assemblies. So in this case, my base right now is 18 inches, but we could make it 36 inches by just typing in 36. And suddenly, our stock becomes double the length. I don't need a 36 inch piece of stock right now, so I'm gonna go back to 18, but it is very important to know that the press pull function is super cool when you need to make multiple sets, uh, multiple lengths of the same piece of extrusion. So we'll just click enter and leave it as is. Now, if you would like to make a thunder shaft, which is a hex shaft with a hole in it, uh, please continue watching. Because the first thing we're gonna do is create a sketch off this new face by right clicking the end face. And we need to create a circle that we can use as a guide to make the hole that goes through the entire piece of extrusion. So we can go to surface and create a circle and use the origin as the center point because that is the center point of our hexagon. And as you will see on CAD drawings of this uh, thunder shaft, the hole in the center is 0 0.201 inches in diameter. So we click that and we have a circle in the center that will replicate where the hole needs to go. So we click finish sketch we can go back to the home so you can see how it looks. And we will click the hole tool. We'll highlight the hole we have, this circle area, 
and you can see it highlights the center. Now it only goes in 0.2 inches and we do not want that. So you can go to the Extents tab and click All so that the hole goes through the entire piece of extrusion. Here, I'll zoom out so you can see that. The hole will go through the entire piece of extrusion, which is exactly what we need. So we'll click through all. We don't need to change anything about the specific drill type because we're not doing any camming. Um, and we want this to be 0.201 inches, which is the, the width of the hole we want. And we will click OK. And now, as you can see, if we look at the front view, we've created a hole, which now turns this hex shaft into a